Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. There you are, you are centered now. <laughs> my name's Akasha. Today I'm going to be doing my book haul. Now this is the book haul of books that I am the most excited about that I have not seen on booktube. Now some of them you may have spoken about and I have not seen that video or you've talked about them in a quick haul and I haven't registered. Now I will start with this one only because I think I've seen this one before on book to, but I was requested by my subscriber to read Push by Sapphire and I am more than happy to. I've gone into it knowing nothing. I'm just excited to read it. It looks like a quick read. I have a couple other books that I'm in the midst of right now, but I will read this and review it for that subscriber. I have no problem doing so and I've picked it up now. The first book that I picked up based on, I'm not gonna lie, this is a cover love by do you see it? It's called Aesop's Secrets by Claudia White and I am so in love with this cover. Like, do you see it? It's got a little, little, just, 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 it's, it's a tiny, it's tiny. It's the size of my hand. It is, well, it's a little bit bigger than my hand, but not much. It's tiny. It's a little hardcover, but I'm so in love with it. And on the back, the first little blurb that it says is Melinda Hunton is a normal 10 year old girl whose life is ordinary, even boring, until she wakes up and she's a horse. I can't begin to tell you how excited I am about this. Yay! Next we have a book that I picked up from Freight Publishing and this is a buy that I did myself. This is The Falling Sky and it's by Pippa Goldschmidt. I read her collection of short stories and I really love them and her writing style so I picked up her full novel and I am super stoked. I cannot wait to read this. Next I went into my local bookstore in Portland and I asked the girl behind the counter, I was picking up a couple other books, and I asked her what her book of choice was. Now she brought me to all of the basic books that every single person usually probably goes in there asking for. And I was like, no, 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 I don't want to know what you recommend to people who read things that people recommend normally. I want to know what you want to push into everyone's hand even though they have no idea they should read it. And she goes, oh, this one. And it's Dorothy Allison's Trash. It's a short story collection by the author of Bastard Out of Carolina. I am super excited. She says it's dark and morbid and twisted and goodness. And you know how I love dark, morbid and twisted. Next book is The Family Fang Kevin by Kevin Wilson. And this is just a, looks like a family story saga. It's got some really interesting art on it that reminds me of... Wes Anderson and I love Wes Anderson films so I figured it would be a great idea and on it it has a little it's interesting it says child A and child B which kind of just I don't know the whole thing just in, interested me so I figured I would pick that up. Next while I was in Brookline Booksmith I asked the woman who was helping me what book she would recommend the most out of all the books she had and she was kind of hemming and hawing she didn't really know what to recommend to me because she didn't know what I liked and I said I will read anything and she goes okay then this. This is Press Start to Play. This is forwarded by Ernest Klein and it's written by a bunch of different authors. It's edited by Daniel H. Wilson, who I do not know, and John Joseph Adams, again, don't know, but it has authors like Holly Black, um, Andy Weir, Catherine M. Valente, and I couldn't be more excited because, I mean, Catherine M. Valente is just amazing. And Holly Black, I'm starting to get into. So all of this looks wonderful and I'm super excited. It's just a short story collection. I'll probably pick it up from time to time, but I'm very curious about it. Next, I have another novel that I picked up. This is Bellwether Rhapsody and it is by Kate Racula. Sounds like Dracula but I don't think that's right. It kind of looks like Dracula without the D. I'm gonna go with Dracula because I like how it sounds and I think that's an awesome last name. So this is a genre bending page turner referencing The Shining and Ag Agatha Christie meets Glee. I think that sounds quite amusing musical theater, suicide, murder, goodness. Yes. Now this one I was highly curious about. It's a short story collection um, called Gifts for the One Who Comes After and it is by Helen Marshall. Um, And I don't know much about it, but 
Neil Gaiman blurbed it on the front and said, Helen Marshall uses the fantastic to pry away her insides of her readers, rib cages, and break us open. And I've discovered that any blurbed book by Neil Gaiman usually ends up to be something that I like. This one is Mermaid in Paradise by Lydia Millet, and I know nothing about this. I just know that it has a very low reading rating on Goodreads, which made me want to own it. Logic? I think not. But on the back, it was blurbed by Karen Russell. I feel like that's that's got some promise. I don't really know much about it, but mermaids, kidnappers, hitchhikers, a tropical vacation, genre bending suspended on an American honeymoon. I think it could be interesting and it has an extremely low rating so I look forward to proving them wrong. Next I have Carrie Brownstein's Hungry Makes the Modern Girl. I don't know if any of you guys know this but I have a serious love of Portlandia mostly of their um, women and women first um, bookstore spoof thing which go figure I like the book spoof first but she apparently was in a band before everything else so I look forward to kind of learning a little bit more about her where her history started and what her take on the feminist world is next I have a coffee house press book and this is called a girl is a half form thing by Emir McBurdy and I was just curious about this one. I have loved everything I've gotten from Coffee House Press so far. This one looks like a good family saga with some darkness and some morbidness to it. I never say no to a good morbid story. Next, Gloria Steinem, My Life on the Road. Just, I don't think there's enough people raving about this. <laughs> Just kidding. I think everyone's talking about this and the feminist aspect of it. So I think I've seen this before on booktube, but I can't be sure. I know I've seen it all over Goodreads and Instagram, but I just figured I'd pick this one up for a good feminist read. And last, not least, this big thing happening here. So this, I read Alice last year by Christina Henry, and it was my favorite book of the year. It was a five-star read. I absolutely loved it. And one of the books on, so on the front cover, there was a blurb from the author of this book, and it was by Brom, and they blurbed the book that I really loved, and I was like, all right, I'll give it a chance, and it's called The Child Thief, and it is supposedly a twist on Peter Pan. I'm just very curious and it's got some interesting artwork that I think is kind of pretty and interesting. So we shall see. Um, I will probably move into this a lot later um, unless I am requested to read it sooner. Ah, that is my books I have not seen on booktube book haul and I will see you guys in my next video.